Huntington's disease is a neurodegenerative genetic disorder. The earliest symptoms are often subtle problems with mood or cognition. I just wanted to know what my life was. Like, I needed to know. And whatever, whatever it was going to be this morning, I said, that's going to be beautiful, and I'll serve that. I'll serve that life. I'll serve this life. Minutes of sun turn to hours of storm, and you tell yourself, you sometimes say, I never knew it was going to be this way. Why didn't they tell me the day I was born? And you start getting chills and you're jumping from sweat and you're looking for something you ain't quite found yet. And you're knee deep in dark water with your hands in the air and the whole world is watching with a window peak stare. Your heart feels sick like fish when they're frying. And your bell is big and loudly but you can't hear its beat. And you think maybe your ears have been hurt or your eyes have turned swimmy from the slight binding dirt. And there's something on your mind that you ought to be saying that somebody someplace ought to be hearing. But it's trapped on your tongue or sealed in your head and it bothers you badly when you're laying in bed and no matter how hard you try, you just can't say it and you're scared to your soul, you just might forget it. And the lion's mouth opens and you're staring at his teeth and his jaw starts closing with you underneath and you're trapped on your belly with your hands tied behind and you wish you'd never taken that last detour saying. What is HD? Everyone has two copies of the HD gene. One they get from their father and one they get from their mother. Because of this, there is a 50% chance of being infected with the mutant Huntington gene. The mutation is a genetic misprint or stutter caused by the continuous repetition of the CAG code that changes the way that the HD gene does its job. Normally, the Huntington gene has 20 or fewer repeats, but the mutant form of the gene has 36 or more. This is toxic to the brain because it causes a lengthening that goes beyond critical threshold. It takes the cells involved in motor function, cognitive ability, and psychiatric health and disables them. We don't understand a lot about HD, but we do know that everyone who has HD has the same type of mutation. This gives a really good target to aim their research at. ASOs, CFNs, and talents are all approaches to shut off the genes. Today, we're just going to focus on ASOs. ASOs are the most advanced and the drugs involved are short, heavily modified bits of DNA that tell a cell to shut off a certain gene. Isis, HTTRX, is a drug developed by the same people behind ASOs. So far, trials in mice have been very successful treating symptoms for Huntington's. And human trials are also doing well. Essentially, the ISIS drug targets the genes and silences them. The problem is that the drugs are injected into the cerebral spinal fluid around the brain. This is supposed to spread to cover all parts of the brain, but in reality, it's not finding its way to the striatum, which is the part of the brain that is most damaged by the disease. The goal with using viruses in gene silencing is to harness the virus's ability to invade and infect cells to send messages to the brain to stop production of the mutated HD gene. The virus has no problem getting into the bloodstream, but to be truly successful, it has to be able to enter neurons. The attempts to do this have been unsuccessful. So far, we are able to silence the entire HD gene but that's not our goal. The goal is to silence the mutated HD gene. 